So let's take a look at the merge map and switch map transformation operators in RxJS. So what the merge map operator is going to do for us is it's going to merge the results of two observables into one. So let's just go ahead and remind ourselves um, how to create a simple observable. So let's just import of from RxJS. This is a creation observable and let's just create a constant and I'll call it a title and I'll put a dollar sign here because in Angular it's sort of a convention to put an observable with a dollar sign at the end there and we can just create a simple observable um, so I'll have these prefix names uh, so Mr, Mrs and let's say Master as well and recall we have to subscribe to an observable so we've created the observable and then we subscribe to it to be aware of it through a subscribe and then an observer can take whatever that is so let's say um, for each one of the titles we can map that to a console log and we can go ahead and save that and then we can see we get Mr. Mrs. and Master one sort of shortcut thing to note is rather than typing this out explicitly like this we can just say console.log and that's sort of an operation that can be recognized to do the same thing so rather than um, you know if it, cycling through each one and then that gets mapped to a console log this is equivalent just a shortcut syntax so let's remind ourselves of the map operator as well and so let's just create a another observable and we'll call it numbers and this can just be the numbers one two and three and what we'll do is we'll square each of these numbers so we can subscribe to the numbers observable through a subscribe and what we can do is we can before we subscribe we can um, we can change the observable numbers by using um, the pipe so that means we'll have access to the pipeable operators. So what we want to do is we want to use the map pipeable operator. So we can go ahead and say map. And then what we'll do with the, um, the mapping is we'll say for whatever number we're given. So we can say for a number of type number. What we can do is we can just say... Um, Let's say we can give back a number times a number. So we subscribe to that and we can console log that. So if we save that, okay, so we also need to import um, map from rxjs slash operators. So let's go ahead and save that. And with that, we can see we get our title um, observable and then we also get our numbers observable that's been mapped to a squaring of each of the numbers so I just wanted to go over that because what we're going to do is we can combine two observables together and we're going to do a mapping within the merge map so let's just create another observable and recall that we got this input field here so we made that in the HTML we just made an input of type text so let's say we type something in and let's say this is a last name field and then we want to for whatever the last name is we want to combine that observable with this observable of um, prefix names so let's just go ahead and recall how we can do that so let's say we have a um, so let's just access that DOM element firstly, so we'll call a constant variable input L for input element and then we can access that with the query selector and we can grab the input DOM element and then what we'll do is we'll create an observable and I'll just say input with a dollar sign here and you know if, another reason to use this dollar sign is not just because in Angular they, you know, it's a convention, but 
it also helps you identify that it is an observable just by looking at it but also if you this was named just input and then this was named input um, it has the same sort of name so um, you know you can tell which one is which so recall that we can have this simple creation observable from the event so let's go ahead and use that so that means we can set this input obs um, observable equal to the creation observable event and then we'll grab that input element that we're uh, binding to and then the type of event will be an input event so just as a reminder we can subscribe to this so for the input we can subscribe and for whatever event we um, for the input event that we've been given this can be mapped to a console log and uh, recall that we need to access the input DOM element itself so that's a HTML element a HTML input element and we can grab whatever that is the event the target and then we need to take the value of that so for that HTML input element we can take the value and if we go ahead and we say that and then we type something in here like John we can see that that gets updated so what we want to do for the merge map operator is we want to combine and I can get rid of this now that was just an example we want to combine whatever this uh, input name is so let's say it's the last name so pepink and we want to prefix this with another observable so mr mrs or master so when I type in pepink um, all the way down I'll get mr p mrs p and master p and then that will happen all the way down, all the way to the um, final, uh, you know, until there is no more input. So, okay, so how can we do that? Well, we can use the merge map operator. So we can go ahead and we can access that. Merge map from the RxJS operators. And... So we, we, we want to combine the two observables together. So we want to combine these titles with the input um, text. Um, so if I type something in, uh, we'll get the combination of the two observables. So the way it works is there's an inner observable and an outer observable. And merge map will take an outer observable and then merge an inner observable. So, whenever an inner observable emits a value, so in this case, we want our inner observable to be the input um, observable, because the input observable is what's emitting the value. Um, when we get an input value from the inner observable, it will take the value of the outer observable and get a combined value. So we'll be emitting a value by typing in the input field in here. And so that'll be the, in, uh, the inner observable. And we can combine that with the outer observable. So in this case, we can have this as our outer observable. So to write this, we can say, okay, let's just say that we want our result, which will be an observable. And we want to, since the title is going to be our outer observable, we can say set result observable equal to the title observable. But then what we're going to do here is we're going to pipe something. And what we're going to pipe is we're going to pipe the merge map operator. So we can see that because we're piping from title, um, for each one of these titles so for the title we can map that and what we want to do is we want to um, 
we want to combine the inner observable or the outer observable which we've just written um, with the inner observable so we need access to the inner observable and recall that we're going to subscribe to this result observable so we need to return another observable so let's go ahead and return another observable and we can take that input observable that we created so that's the inner observable and we can pipe that so we can use a pipeable operator and what we're going to do is we're going to pipe that to the map operator so recall that the map operator it takes in this um, it takes it, it, well okay the map operator can tr you know it takes the values of an observable and it maps it to another value of an observable but in this case what our input observable um, is is it's the input event so for the, an input event we can sort of map that to and this is where we actually combine the two observables together so we can map the title which we've got from the outer observable so we can have you know mr mrs or whatever and then you know we can just add a space so we can have a space between the title and the surname and then we can essentially just copy this um, HTML input elements value here so let's go ahead and copy that you like that and then we can plus that on there and now with that we have our result observable so all we have to do now is we can just subscribe to the result observable so we'll subscribe to that and I may um, let's see here oh no, that's fine so it's result we subscribe to that and we can just do our shorthand console.log and if we save that what we get here so we'll just actually go ahead and just get rid of this here and this bit here just to sort of declutter it a little bit and then with that if I save something and then I type in say P I get Mr. P, Mrs. P, Master P and then I just get that combined observable outputted to our console depending on whatever we type in so maybe something we would like to add to this is a um, debounce time. So let's go ahead and chain another pipeable operator. And we can do this before we do the mapping. So we can just say for every one second, have a debounce time of one second. We can import that as well. And now with that, if I type in pepink, then after a second of me finishing typing, I get Mr. Pepping, Mrs. Pepping, Master Pepping. So just to recap the um, merge map operator, we've created this observable title, and then we're going to have another observable, which is from an input event, and we combine the two observables, and the inner observable is the one that's emitting the event. So the input observable is what's triggering a change. So we're detecting a change in the input. Thus for that inner observable, um, we can combine that with its outer observable. So we create this new observable with the outer observable of this, um, you know, title observable. And then with that, we can pipe to a merge map. And the merge map goes through the outer observable. So Mr, Mrs, Master. It goes through each one of those titles. And then we need to return another observable based on that. So we can return this input observable. Um, well, we're not returning the input observable, but we're piping into the input observable. So whatever we type in, we've added a debounce time of a second, and then after a uh, second is cleared, whatever text is in the text box, 
we're going to map that. Um, so we're mapping that you know input event from whatever the title was plus a space to the value and then you know we subscribe to that and log it to the console so that's merge map now I want to discuss um, switch map and what switch map will allow us to do is it will um, allow us to switch to a new observable on emissions using the switch map operator. So switch map allows us to emit values when another observable emits a value. So let's just see that in action. So let's just go ahead and import it from the RxJS operators. So let's import switch map. And okay, so we can once again create that simple numbers array. Oh, sorry, numbers observable. So let's just go ahead and create this numbers observable. So one, two, three. And what we want to do for this numbers observable is we want to create a new observable based on the values of this current observable. So let's say we're going through this observable's values. We're going one, then we're going two, then we're going three. So let's say for one, we want to return a new observable that's you know one times one, two times one, three times one. So we return one, two, three for that value. And then we have the same logic for the second observable. So then we want to return two times one, two times two, two times three, and so on. So what we can do is we can use our pipe so we can access our pipeable operators. So we can access the switch map operator. And we know that we're going through a numbers array. So what we can do is we can say, okay, we can go through each of these numbers. We'll just call it X. And we can sort of map this or switch the map of this to a new observable such that for every value that we're mapping through, we can return, okay, so let's just return in the first case X, in the second case two times X, in the third case three times X. And then all we have to do then is just subscribe to that as we do, so we call that numbers observable, we subscribe to it so we're aware of it, and then we can just do a simple console log, and now what we get here is we get one, two, three, which is one times one, one times two, one times three. Then we get two, four, six, so two times one, two times two, two times three. And then we get three, six, nine, which is three times one, three times two, three times three. So just to recap, we just sort of go through the values of the observable. And then for each one of those, we sort of map to a new observable for each value and, and that's you know using this switch map operator so we're going through each one of the numbers and then we return a new observable based on and based on each of the values of the um, outer observable and then that's repeated for each of the values of the outer observable so they are the most common transformation operators used in RxJS, merge map, switch map, along with you know map and um, making observables and all that. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.